What you were dancing to some of those songs, weren't you? Uh, a couple of them. A couple of them were real you know, classics. The rest of them were kind of like, eh. Yeah, you, you you were doing some booch classic moves there behind the scenes. Of course, I'm a dancing machine, bro. They didn't tell you that. Yeah, I'm a dancing machine too. We can have like some shot booch and shot competition with dancing. All right. <laughs> yes, I need to beat you in something else. That's fine. Okay. Um. All right. What's four number for the? Well, okay. I, I'll beat you in wrestling. You beat me in dancing. Yeah, right. Okay. What's four for the year, Vinny? Okay, well, before I get into that, I did notice something. Um we did the we did the ten through six with the music, so um and uh we, we I realized I'm, we're now doing number four because Derek doesn't know how to count. Um so <laughs> since there's no number five, apparently, because yeah. of all the craziness, I would like to put in an honorable mention for number five. Okay. What I like to do. All right. Um it's not a Derek Shapiro film, but it's one that I saw that came out this year that I saw uh, over the Christmas break. And um, I like to put it in the movie Red Notice for number five because that movie with uh, starring The Rock and Ryan Reynolds and Gal Gadot was off the chain. Okay. And that was a very well done movie. Um, I was considering The Matrix Resurrections, but even though part of the movie was good, it dragged on really long. Like, really? Really? Yeah, and I felt like they were breaking the fourth wall. It felt like it was a movie they didn't want to make, but the movie studio was making them. Really? Forcing them to make this movie. There's really? a lot of fourth walls breaks that gave an indication that their hearts weren't in the film. Okay. Now, I could be wrong. We have to interview Keanu Reeves and see uh, where his thought was with that, but there's a part of me that felt like they didn't, they weren't into it. And the beginning dragged on way too long than it needed to. Really? Um, so, yeah. So, I, I give it to Red Notice. will be number five. So, that's the honorable mention. That way, uh, the audience knows that we can we can count. We can count. By the yeah. way, we, we have a tie for that because uh, the movie that would have been number five if um, it got released um, late in 2020 um, 20, and um, in December. It was the only one that crossed over to 2021 and the movie the serious movie that we did was homeless man and where um um it got released late in 2020 in december remember last year um yeah um, and and uh and 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 it was still in the charts because i, I let it go over to january so that would have been number five for the year actually if that movie would have stayed on i don't have no way to get a homeless man back and you played remember me and uh, i played the homeless guy and we went into um, the um, um, Panda Express. And, and Yeah, that's right. We did do that. Yep. And we, that was a serious movie where my character was homeless. So that would have been the honorary number five. All right. What's number four for 2021? Number four would be uh, the movie that came out uh, Thanksgiving Day, uh, Starting Over, was number four. Yes. And, and it's not over um, um, because, you know, all my YouTubes got deleted. And, of course, this would um, this is definitely James Buddy Love Herring's last film we gotta say um a a a sad mention um he was he was in all four films this year um my friend Vinny Bo um, i mean my friend Vinny, my friend Vinny bucci has his hat off for james buddy love herring he did die of covid he did um play pastor harris in my movie pastor harris yeah. he um was in um um no lips no teeth it, it was just a shame that he had to pass away and and he um, was just a lot fun of life. I mean, when my parents and him acted together for the movie um, 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 "Follow Your Heart," um, um, it was just amazing seeing my dad and him at the hotel. And and he was a personal friend of mine. He walked my ex-wife down the aisle. And then, of course, recently his daughter just passed away of COVID, uh, separate, a separate COVID than him. Um, and then, of course, his wife is in the hospital. So, give a shout out to the Herring family. I love you guys. Uh, Siobhan was my daughter's godmother and just what the herrings are going through is just astonishing but please watch James Bay Love Herring in this film and uh, starting over we'll come back after that with the five and four songs for 2021 we'll be back me and Vinny Bucci